up, YouTube? My name is Carly. Carly Fries, is that the right direction? What up, YouTube? My name is Carly. Carly Fries. And today I'm going to talk about the books that I read in March. No, April. What month are we? These are actually the books that I read in April. <laughs> And uh, I only really read two series. I've been really into just getting a whole bunch of series that I've been wanting to read down. So I did read six books, but they were two trilogies. So I'm just gonna briefly talk about both trilogies and what I thought about them. First trilogy that I read at the beginning of April was uh, the Firebird trilogy by Claudia Gray. And these covers I live for. Like, they're so pretty. I don't have very many books that are like stark white. And like, just the coloring that's on the cover, like, just makes these books for me. And yeah, I gotta admit, like, I originally, like, in chapters, gravitated to this book just because of how pretty it was. And like, the description was. It was interesting, but you know what? I really freaking liked this book series, okay? Like, there's A Thousand Faces of You, Ten Thousand Skies Above You, and finally, A Million Worlds with You. And what these books are basically about is this girl named Margaret and her parents are scientists, and they're basically working on, like, parallel universes and, like, trying to be able to uh, travel to them to, like, learn from them. And so basically, they're very close to the research, and then one day someone does something that completely sabotages the research and it results in tragedy. So Margaret, along with uh, her friends, they take the prototypes for this interdimensional travel and they begin to hunt the guy that they believe is responsible for the tragedy through dimensions. So they basically travel through dimensions, dimension, dimension, looking to kill this guy. But it turns out to be not so simple as Margaret thought it was. Um, and so basically just all three books just explore so many different universes and like they're so different and so unique that it's like reading a story within a story within a story because you keep encountering the same characters but different because they're in different dimensions so they're, they don't act the same. So it's like, it's really, really, really interesting um, if you like the idea of like time travel and, and dimensional travel and like all that like scientific stuff. Plus you add a bunch of characters that you come to really like and care about and this makes a really, really good series. And I don't think a lot of people really know about this series. I mean, it's no, I've never, I haven't seen people really talking about it. I honestly just saw it in chapters and picked it up. I think more people should be paying attention to this author and what she's putting out because if all of her work is like this, then I would highly, highly suggest that you go check her out and that you go read these books. Okay? Okay. Other trilogy that I read in April was the Grisha trilogy by Lee Bardugo and this came out in like 2012, I think. So I'm kind of, you know, getting to it a little late. I've heard about this for years. And the only reason why I'm even getting into it now is because my boyfriend has the books and he had just read uh, Lee Bardugo's uh, follow-up series in this uh, universe. So he read both of those series and told me that they were decent. He said he loved the Crooked Kingdom series and this one was just so-so, but if I'm gonna read books by an author, I'm gonna read them all. So I started off by reading the uh, Grisha trilogy and it's comprised of Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Rune and Rising. And uh, these books fall into the uh, like fantasy genre in that uh, so basically there are these people called the Grisha and they have uh, different powers and I said it before and I'll say it again. I'm a little tired of female protagonist, young adult characters thinking they're normal and then one day they just are like, you know, the chosen one and like just find these powers that they never had before. And I mean, I know it makes for a good book. But I'm so sick of it. I literally, as I, I say that as I'm rereading the Infernal Devices right now, and I mean, does that not apply to Tessa? 
<laughs> and it's one of my favorite series. I guess you can love, like series can be really freaking good. It's just, it's so overdone. So the series that are like mediocre, like I'm fucking sick of this show. <laughs> but uh, whatever. It was an okay book series. Um, so yeah, the main character, Elena, she finds out one day that she has this power and it's not actually like all the other Grisha's power. She doesn't fit into any one category because unlike like one of the like rulers of the kingdom whose power is darkness, she is light. And so she becomes like this whole savior thing to the people because it means that she can like defeat the evil powers. But the thing is, is that there are bad people who want to use her powers to actually make things worse. So she's like a hero, but she's also, she could also be used as a weapon. So it's like, whoops. <laughs> didn't fall in love with the characters. I, I didn't, I mean, I rooted for some of them. I was upset that one of them died. Like it was like a minor character. One of, the, of course, one of my favorite characters becomes a minor character and then they die. They weren't the worst. Like, they were good. Like, if you like fantasy series and just looking for something real fast to read, like, these were very, very easy and very fast to read, and they're good. Like, they're not bad. Like, I think I gave them three out of five stars on Goodreads, meaning I liked them. Um, it's just not something that I would go around, like, recommending to people like just like here and there like running around like oh my god like when i read a book that i absolutely love i'll go to everyone and be like you have to read this book but this book series probably wouldn't like be at the top of my head for like if someone asked me to recommend them a series that i've read recently i would obviously recommend the first series that i read this month but yeah those are all the books that i read this month and like i said i'm currently rereading cassandra clare's infernal devices series for no other reason than I recently made a video and I talked about the books a lot and I felt a little nostalgic so I've gone back and am now rereading one of my favorite book series and I'm feeling the feels. <laughs> I'm also rereading them because Lord of Shadows, the second book in the Dark Artifices series by Cassandra Clara, which is the follow-up series to the main series, whereas Infernal Devices is the prequel series to the main series, lot series. Um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to reread the books. I honestly just wanted to reread the whole series, but then I was like, there are six books in Moral Instruments. I, there's too many new books that I need to read, so I don't think now is the time for that. But I did just want to reread it for all nicest for no other reason than they're the best. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm super excited because I'll reread those this month, and then I'll also get to read the new Dark Artifices book, and the new Court of Thorns and Roses book, because both of those series get new books this month, which is like too exciting that like I just can't. So I will be talking about those books as soon as I get my hands on them. I'm really like, that's what I'm reading. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you read either of these series and what you thought of them. What did you read in April and do you have any book recommendations for me? Please subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.